Uh, it's hard enough to build a robot. I would have no idea. I can imagine it's trust. pretty impossible. Yeah. But when it comes to extracurriculars like high school robotic competition, fundraising can be a whole other challenge. But check out this googly-eyed, mustachioed contraption, mm -hmm. and you just might want to root for this team. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas takes us inside the race to collect cash. This is Monkey, the pride and joy of the Taft High School robotics team. We're team 8122, Taft Robotic Eagles. The Robotic Eagles built Monkey to scoop up these balls and then shoot them through hoops like this in robotic skills competitions. We've all worked so hard and we've grown together as a team. It's absolutely huge that we've managed to win two competitions so far. And with those two regional wins, team qualified for another major competition with teams from across the country and beyond. This competition means so much for all of us, I think. It means the world to me. But there's one thing standing in their way. They can't quite scoop up the funds to get the team to Texas for next week's competition. The team launched a fundraiser online, but robotics teacher Tony Schmidt says they're far below their goal. It would be heartbreaking if the only reason we couldn't go is money. As Schmidt and his students have learned, fundraising for a program like robotics is no easy task. It can be difficult to even explain the program to potential donors, and self-funding is not an option. I know it's been hard for some of us, especially sometimes with my family, to get the money to do events like this. Two, one, go! Just last week, we reported that Bloom Trail High School's team was also struggling to pay for a major competition. But now? We've actually met and surpassed our donation goal. Um, I'm super grateful. Uh, it could not have been possible without the help of you guys and CBS. The Robotic Eagles are hoping the exposure will help them too. Traveling to Texas to do what we love would be amazing. The team needs about fifteen to twenty thousand dollars to get everyone to Texas, including Monkey, who will need to be shipped there for next week's competition. If you'd like to donate, the fundraiser link is on our website. Tim McNicholas, CBS Two News.